Do I look at you or do I look at the screen? Uh, you can I do both. I've, I've sometimes stared right at the screen when, like, Mark was here and we were doing videos and then Mark was trying to get my attention and it looks weird in the video now. So he's like, this. I am recording now, so this is even this is even cooler to the audience that right. like, oh look, they're so uncomfortable and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is Eric. Hi. And I'm Laurie Vital Finds. That's my code name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Eric. Okay, I don't know what I was gonna say. I'm not a very good interviewer. I'm gonna say Eric has a few things to say, and you're gonna say like what? <laughs> you know, you're supposed to be asking me questions. <laughs> Okay. So we're here um, today. We're today we're Sunday going to morning. go. Yeah. Yep. The plan is to go to the Weems Bot Museum. Isn't that a weird name? Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah. 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 And do you want to? You should want to tell about it. Like, uh, what do you what do you know about it? Someone was hung hang there, and people were. Yeah. Well, it would be good to have the tour again today. Uh, with you and then you'll hear that as well but yeah there's old history here in Dumfries and Confederate war battles and or actually I think encampments more so but there was a merchant family there and see I've got the story all jumbled okay but all right. there's, a, there's a hanging tree there's a gazebo that a woman has been seen there's a graveyard in the back there's a school that was built over apparently slave graves so it's a, kind of a hot spot. There's a window that people have seen open and close. Okay. All right. Neat. And mm -hmm. who knows? Maybe we'll see something. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, sense something or something yeah. will happen. Yep, because I have a video posted of the Farnsworth house in Gettysburg, and it's your voice in the background okay. saying, open the door. And, and you know, it, I it happens, yeah. usually when you're trying to catch, capture something, you know, then there's no movement. But I mean, I I got the door opening and closing right on camera. Well, yep, and on cue, it it did. It wasn't like it was a uh, staged. It actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and I went and around and I filmed the the hinges. My camera didn't capture the light that great, so the camera couldn't see that. It wasn't any strings or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, there would have had to have been the most elaborate technology to uh, hide it because that door right. was just thin yeah. and you could see well, both sides old. of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was no there was no way it could just open by itself. Yeah, because if you get up close to a Disney ride, they don't usually, you know, they usually design it so that you can't really see it. But, I mean, if you were an employee roaming around... You'd see something kind of fat that would be controlling well, and the that, door. Yeah, and the other thing is it opens so far at times yeah. and then closed so that you can't manipulate. Mm -hmm. you know, we could see if there was a vacuum, but there was no vacuum. Well, the, that's my, that was my only unknown is that like down around the stairs, they wrapped around kind of, yep. and then there was a front door, and it was an active bed and breakfast. I don't know if it was windy that day. It didn't seem like it. But so the only other theory was that if somebody was coming in the front door, maybe it was causing that. Yeah, I, I don't, I, it would be extreme in my, like, you would think it would only just go like up. Right, like right. Because it, at one point it opened and then you said open some more. And right. it did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he kept saying, well, it's either when it opens a little, it's the little kid or yeah. when it opens the whole way it's an adult right and it did both yeah so yep and at that time I was interested in ghosts because I wanted to see what a ghost felt like to see what Mark might feel like <laughs> right if, yeah. if he was around yeah huh but I didn't feel anything like the That's just like, kind of strange like the noise last night in the house okay well you know right. as you far as is that know. Mark yeah, is he tapping? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Or are you saying with the flashlight last night in the graveyard? Well, that's what we thought at one point, <laughs> but um, I think um, we sort of ruled that out. But in the house, there was one little sound on the roof. 
Okay. Yeah. You remember that, right? <laughs> I wasn't hallucinating that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Last, last night, up like around this spot, I said, okay. did you hear that? And yeah, big crack. Yeah. Yeah, but I heard two cracks. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, but the first one, do you think it more was marked because it went on cue? Well, and, you know, I mean, I know that houses make noises, but, you know, when when I notice something like that, then that... Me, must mean that there hasn't been a noise like that for for months because it stands out as unique. Although sitting around talking about ghosts, I suppose you're sort of more tuned in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now you got me thinking we ought to do the flashlight trick here. Oh. <laughs> and have you ever tried it? No. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we can do that. We can keep it rolling. Do you have it handy? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'll grab my copper rods, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Because to me, that that would tell us if there's something here, honestly. And then, but, like I say, I did it at my house, but then I was getting too much activity, so I had to quit it. Let's see. So how should we do this so the camera can see that? That's a good thing. That's a good question. Um, I can, like... Sure, this is the mag light. So, some see. kind of little stand of some sort. So, and you turn it so that it's off, but it actually comes on if you would tap it. Does it fit on this? Hey, that's cool. All right, so it's on. It's on lightly. But it it can't tell, like you can't see it. So let's go. Alright, so now it's set. Okay. But I won't be able to see if it comes on. Can you see? Yeah. You can you can tell if it comes on? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so. You didn't shake them out? Yeah, I did. Oh, you didn't did. see. I didn't I see. Didn't. Okay. Usually you say you got to shake out the negative energy in the rods. Okay. I wish I could remember the uh, thing in the Haunted Mansion. Spirits and, and blah, blah, blah. There's a there's whole thing in the Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah, they have Haunted an actual, uh, like, ritual that they say. Well, part of the ride, there's Madame Leota doing a seance, and she says... Serpents and spiders. Um, Tell of above, bring in the spirits by ringing the bell. Oh ding, ding, my ding. gosh. Is that <laughs> right? Whoa. Yeah. So it's major. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know, I would just go with the normal thing you say is, is anyone here? Is Mark here? Cross the rods for yes. Okay. Here or goes. turn on the flashlight for yes. And like I still say, with the flashlight, sometimes it takes them a while to, to catch on. Hey, I can turn this flashlight on. Mm-hmm. But with the rods, it's more they're more sensitive. So. Yeah, and I've practiced with the rods. Haven't said I haven't really come up with anything conclusive. Um, they're a little bit. Tilted, which is not meaning there's something playing with them. You know, well, they're okay. crossed a little bit or not. Oh, tilted like that, yeah, okay. Because yeah. I'm supposed to tilt them a little bit, otherwise, they just. At first, I used to hold them parallel, more up, more. and then every once in a while they would flip backwards, um, which can mean that somebody gave you a hug, but it can also just mean that I was holding them way too high. Uh huh. Or, you know? yeah. 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 So now you point them down a little bit. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And then you would set at two different levels so that they can't right, cross. Right. So they can cross without connecting. Connecting. Okay. So now they went straight again. I've got a. I have a pendulum, also. I don't know. If, if that, is that part right, of ghost busting so, at all? Um, the paper here says that you can use it, but. Mm-hmm. Let's see if this 
this, the dowsing rod. I think it's right over there. Okay, this is the K2 meter, and this is the... Okay, a pendulum, a tool with a device hanging from a string calmly made out of crystal or metal may move back and forth when a target is near. This is my non-dominant hand. I, I don't know which hand you're supposed to do with the pendulum. So a pendulum, in theory, you're supposed to test out. Show me, yes. May swing back and forth when a target is and near. Show me no. But I don't hmm. know. I, I don't get any real definitive thing. But anyway, right. so uh, first question. Uh, uh, is Mark here? Show me yes by swinging back and forth away from me and towards me. So I told one of my friends, I said, well, every time I use a pendulum, I said, I, all I do is concentrate on trying not to shake it. And she says, well, try to be a little bit more loose with yourself because I think part of the theory is that, okay, maybe, maybe you are subconsciously or whatever, mm -hmm. using your mm -hmm. body a little okay. bit, and even with, with like a dowser person, maybe it is them partially that's doing it, however the energies are working together. Okay. All right. Be more open, like. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So. Hmm. But anyway. Okay. Yeah. That's that. Well, then that's that. <laughs> yeah. All right. And the flashlight's not going on either. And the flashlight's not going so that's interesting. Okay, I guess we have no spirits here. It's just me and you. <laughs> Darn! <laughs> Want to catch something here. <laughs> we can uh, do some filming. It, this can be used today. Couldn't last night, you know. Right, it was dark. Yeah, but I can bring this to the house. And the advantage to this is I can upload immediately. I'll be able to upload to YouTube right after. I see. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, we'll upload this as the introductory one, and there'll be others to come. Cool. So. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.